good morning and welcome back to part two lovely morning again uh, in here in Denmark in Hootshals uh, I think you call it I've just had some breakfast I've got a class on from the shop and uh, coffee so I'm gonna get packed up and all ready to go <coughs> to uh, get the boat to sail over to uh, Kristiansand and into Norway cannot wait I really cannot wait for this I've been planning this to get to Norway now for a long time, so today is finally going to happen. Bike won't start. I just hope it's a flat battery. Should have got a flat new battery. I need a new battery. And now the bike is completely dead. Panic over. The keys were on the floor, so he wasn't reading it, but the battery was it died anyway. Just arrived after the drama at the uh, ferry port in Hootshells and uh, queuing up with the other bikers. And it's a glorious warm day, 16 degrees. A little bit of a panic before about that battery situation. Then I had to pair everything back to the bike, the helmet, intercom, everything. Anyway, all done. There's a lot of German bikers. Sorts. It's a good combination, FJR. GS is a good company. <coughs> oh, Triumph Explorer.
on YouTube. YouTube. Oh, oh, yes. Our new channel. Yeah. Welcome England. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome Norway. Yeah. Welcome Norway. Yeah. Deutschland. You are an English guy. Yes. Yeah. We're moving. This is what you travel a thousand miles for.
pulled off the road and uh tried to spot in a minute I thought go to have a bit of lunch well look at this for a, a rest stop by a lake Needed a coffee and I was hungry as well. It's gonna take me forever to get here. I have to stop and keep taking pictures of things. This is just the most beautiful country I have ever been to in my entire life. thousand miles and I finally make it. I've got to say I am absolutely blown away by this place. Not only the country, the friendliness of the people, the roads, the scenery, and also the price of a can of beer but I'll mention that in a second. Um, quite emotional ride really on the way down that's that's weird for me because I've been to some amazing places in the world but holy moly this place is just unbelievable so let me just show you the scenery I mean look at that this is my cabin apartment 12 it's situated on the river I don't know what the name is. I've forgotten. Right in the mountain area of is it Agda? Or and the place I'm staying is called Soul Garden Cottages. So it's a hotel and a restaurant and a bar and even a silversmith, believe it or not, that's what it's famous for. So in a minute I'm gonna sit there and enjoy my beer. Some people over there having a, a glass of wine. A few midges about. But nothing major. So this is my cabin. Veranda. I might actually sit on there in the sun. And then we come in. It's been bitten. Bedroom's on the, the right. There's little Ted already. That one's very long. <laughs> and you got an oven and hob. All like your cooking equipment and just kitchen, all the bits and pieces. Those are my bits. Fridge, freezer. I've already got the beer. That was eight quid, believe it or not. But uh, apparently, volume. Oh, 4.7, so not too bad. Jural. And top tip for Norway the tap water is that good. You don't need to keep buying bottles, just keep filling up your bottles. Or so I've been told. And it comes into the, the lounge area, a little table. And look at this, a little sort of pull out sofa bed. So, get out there. And that's the view out the window. 
bullet for choice. So if it does get a bit midgy out there, which might do, so so. I think TV's also got Netflix. And then you come round, you've got your own little uh, stuff for putting my crap. I'm about to put my clothing there hung up because it was practically walking away. Uh, I guess this is because obviously popular the winter months putting your uh, snow gear. And then you've got my own self contained, not messing about with a shower and stuff this time, going for uh, somewhere else, shower and uh, bathroom. Brilliant. That's not a bad view, is it, out the window? Cheers, folks. We made it to Norway. Yes, a little bit of problem with the battery. The road on the way here, phenomenal. It's probably one of the best biking roads I've ever been on, the top three. The scenery is just... I think you know there's someone up there. And I must about have dropped lucky with the weather as well. It's just phenomenal. It really is. So I'm going to try and WhatsApp the wife and amaze her where I'm staying, keeping in touch. And then I'm going for a meal at 8 o'clock, but I'm just going to enjoy this beer, either here or outside. And tomorrow, um, we're going to ride over to what's called Lisbon. So, whatever special ride that is, let's just check out a mountain road that's still got a large amount of snow, like snow walls been dug out. So, I've been looking forward to doing that. And then down to Lisbon, very high up, 27 airpin, but you'll see anyway. So, tomorrow, I want to get up early, if I can. Um, I naturally wake up pretty early anyway, ride that road, come back again. Probably take me ages doing pictures and drone shots and all the rest of it. But I'll ride it and then I want to come back and I might give it a go a bit of fishing and just chill out here. But yeah, time to chill. I'm going to go and have a meal. God knows how much that's going to be. And uh, maybe another beer in the bar. Check that out as well. And I think tomorrow, on the way back, we'll drop off at the supermarket, get some supplies and uh i'll cook cook myself something here i think and chill out see you in a bit before carpaccio of moose mm. let's give it a whirl eh? mountain trout fresh from the river mm -mm. finish traditional norwegian dessert and coffee oh well Funny enough, it's time for bed. Early start in the morning. Uh, I'm going to get over to what's called Lisbon on the road. Snow's either side. And that is going to be, folks, 
part three of this video or videos should say got the old bins on eyes are tired so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I, I've enjoyed writing it so far and uh, yes yeah, off oh, Norway well exceeded expectations more than I ever thought the place I'm staying at here is absolutely fantastic and it's just a stunning place to come and visit so again the usual like share subscribe hope you've enjoyed the video uh, please feel free to put any comments um, I've been messing around with sort of on bike footage and stuff like that so hopefully it's going to turn out okay again I've just been relying on my little action camera I tried to put this Canon uh, camera on the bike and it really didn't work so so some really good sort of shots with lakes and stuff from, um, maybe have to just redo on the way back but that's the way it goes isn't it? it's trial and error doing these things um, I really some people that do all these sort of action shots and on and off the bike and it's so much like hard work when you're on your own filming yourself on a bike and uh, if you probably notice a lot of my shots are with the engine running because of the battery situation so that's always slightly in the back of my mind will it start again um, I don't know whether I've got like a, a connection or something like that I've tied the back anyway let's see what happens when I try and fire it up in the morning I think I just need a new battery I was going to try and find a dealer on the way back home let's see how we go let's see how we go so I wish you farewell and I hope to see you or you see me on the final one which is going to be some one hell of an impressive ride so please join me for part three see you guys very soon Bye-bye.